Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and today we are going on to an in-state rivalry. Marquette Golden Eagles are heading to the Kohl Center to face the Wisconsin Badgers. Your Marquette Golden Eagles just signed the number two center in the nation. He is going to be a huge asset for this team in the future. Number two center. It's number 17 overall. You see him right here. A 6'10", 227 pound. Actually, 31 in the nation. He started out number 17, so I guess he is going down. From Council Bluffs, Iowa. Um, he's just he's fantastic, but you also saw uh, we are also missing a recruit. He decided not to come here. This is what I'm saying. When you get somebody 100% interested, they do not have any guarantee whatsoever of coming to the team. To if obviously you who has them at 100%. So it's very difficult for recruiting this game. You really just have to hope you get lucky. But today, the number five Marquette Golden Eagles are on the road at number 12 Wisconsin. We are undefeated. But we have also not really played a true road game. And our combined record is under 50, under 500 of our opponent's record. So, 6-0 and looks great. But I'm not trying to push it too far. It's not like we're one of the best teams in the nation. Because, really, we frankly haven't played anybody that well. Arizona State was the best team we've played. And they were 2-0 and at the time in the Maui Invitational. We did blow them out. But we almost lost to LSU. And I also had some tough times with some other teams um, that I played off camera that I'm just trying to get through games, non-conference games, against opponents that you probably don't want to watch and play. But this is the biggest game yet of the season. This is really going to tell us who these Golden Eagles are. We start with the 2-0 lead after two free throws by Marcus Howard. It's going to be Demetrius Trice. He's going to be dribbling around the paint. He's going to kick this one over to Iverson. Iverson's going to kick this one out. It's going to be Kobe King. He's going to get that three to rattle home. He gets that one to go. By the way, in these rosters, they are somewhat messed up because 2K, when these rosters, they just have something wrong where some of the names just get glitched. You'll see this in one of the guys. I'm not quite sure what his actual name is, but it kind of looks like it's almost Thomas or Thompson or something. It's Ethan Happ gets his first bucket of the day. He's the Wisconsin Badgers' best player on the court. Our best co player on the court is Marcus Howard. And, well, he's going to respond with a th deep three right there and bangs it from the top of the key. He has seven points early. I need him to get going if we have any chance to win this game. But like I was saying, some of the names get a little bit glitched. I actually went through the whole entire roster for about two to three hours changing all the names that are glitched. They just have like two names combined into one. You'll see it later when I'm talking about it. Marcus Howard It's another three. He's got ten points here early in the first four minutes. But I went through two and a half, three hours as Demetrius tries to miss that one. Kobe King off its rebound putback. And I went through it and names just combined. I ended up having people that had names with like Chicago State in it and stuff like that. And I know this guy that did the roster did them correct it's just I even saw them in the forums that they are just they just get messed up like that was the guy right there I do not know what his actual full name is uh, but that was him right there he has two names combined to one I went through the whole entire thing I got back to the Big Ten because that's where I started to change the names and like half the players names were messed up so and then I went through and it just all the names that I fixed just basically got moved down a couple of conferences to other teams and those players names got messed up so I just left the rosters how it was and just went about my business because there's not much I could do about that and there's not much I can do about Demetrius tries 25 foot three in my face. It's 27 to 20 Wisconsin Badgers here. Uh, Marquette's got to get something going. It's going to be Anum. He's going to knock that one from the corner. He gets that one to go. It's 29 23 is six minutes to play here in the first half. Really difficult first half defensively for us so far. But Marcus Howard has had an incredible first half. He's got 12 after coming back from the bench. For, he's on the bench for a little bit after his hot start, but he's got 12 points here in the first half. Not five minutes to play. It's 31 25. Just good ball movement. They get an easy layup there. 37 25. Now it's Marcus Howard get, kicking this one around. Swinging this one around in the arc. It's going to be Sam Hauser in the Ed Morrow. Ed Morrow with a nice turn. He's going to put that one up in a nice finish. Good post move by Ed Morrow. That's going to be 37-27. to 27. They're going to kick this one right up court, though, after the mid-basket. Kobe King just driving straight to the basket. He's having a good day as well so far today. It's 39-27. Brad Davison has actually been benched for Kobe King, but apparently by good reason, according to this game. Kobe King misses the jumper that time. Offensive rebound. Put back is good. We're just getting outplayed here early in the Cole Center. Just Badgers are too much for us to handle here early early. It's 41-27. Another nice pass by Marcus Howard leads to a layup. It's 41-29. Now here's Marcus Howard again. Scored some early buckets. Now he's creating for his teammates, but Joey Hauser misses an open layup. 43-29 a minute to play. It's Davison driving. Kick this one in to Kobe King. He's just in the right spot at the right time. 
45-29. Howard at the top of the key once again. Under 50 seconds of play. Again, this one to Joey Hauser. This time he finishes that one. Cuts it back to 14. Now 10 seconds left. Here is Marcus Howard pulling up from three on the left wing. Maybe a little bit of an early shot. Badgers are going to have one more chance to do something with this ball. It's Davison giving it to Trice over the King. King at the buzzer. He gets it to go. Kobe King has 14 in the first half. It's 48 to 31. The Badgers are all over us in that first half. It really was around 10 to 12 for most of the first half. We had to lead a little bit at the beginning of the game, but they're shooting 62% from the field, 4 of 8 from 3. We're shooting 48%, which isn't bad, but they're really just taking it to us. Kobe King's knocking down shots. Demetrius Trice is knocking down shots. We're holding Ethan Happ in check, but the rest of the team is having incredible days. So we got to pick it up big time in the second half. But if you if you have been a part of this series in the first couple of episodes, LSU went all of, went uh, crazy on us in the first half, and we came back and won that game by I believe about ten points. So Marcus Howard with fifteen right now, that's a good sign right there. But we're down by fifteen, so not a whole lot going for us there. As Kobe King just has no conscience, he knocks down the three from the top of the key. 55 to 35. Wisconsin has no quit here today. Kobe King giving this one inside to Ethan Happ. Ethan Happ back out to Kobe King for three, and he is just lighting it up today. Not the day we want to be playing the Wisconsin Badgers. It's 62 41, and it's not a good day when I'm making mistakes like this. I just throw it straight to Brad Davison. He steals that one, gets the layup. It's 66 to 41. This one's getting out of hand. Dimitri Trice, mid range jumper. That one's good. 68-41, I was making 72-43, just trying to do anything I can to make this look reasonable. It's Marcus Howard getting that layup to go. Now here's a steal, going to kick this one into Marcus Howard once again. He gets back-to-back -back layups there, so chipping away just a little bit. 72-47, they took out most of their starters at the moment, but... We're going to try to take advantage of that as best we can as John gets this dunk right there at 74-49, down about 25. Marcus Howard drills another three. He's got a lot of points here today. I believe 28 that was. He's going to take it to the hoop once again. He's going to kick this one out to Joey Hauser. I'm going to take that one. That's a three ball. He gets that one to go. We are down by 19 now, slowly making a run. Back into this game, it's Marcus Howard shooting the three. He gets that one to go as well. It's now a 74-58 to game. Marcus Howard has 29. That's another steal. It's going to be Howard top of the key for three. Gets it to go. 74-61. Make it 75-61 at their free throw. We're chipping away at this lead. But here is Curry for three. Knocks it down. Now that is what you'd call a big time dagger. Under four to play, down by 17. We had it down to 13. Here's Howard again from the outside, and he is hot. And if you watch any college basketball, you know when he's hot, he's probably one of the best players in the nation. There's Kobe King, though, continuing his hot streak. They took the starters out for quite a while after it got up to almost 30, and he hasn't got as much playing time as you he probably would have liked. He could have really padded his stats, but Marcus Howard has 40, but... Which just hits just too, uh, too little, too late here as Marcus Howard hits another three, 43 points. It's 94, 75, and try to take it to the hoop with Marcus Howard. Dribble this one back out, top of the key, launching one. That one is no good. And that's going to be the ball game. Wisconsin's going to come away with a victory. It really was never that close. We made a little bit of a run there at the end of the game. Chipped it down to about 13 points because Marcus Howard is just a freak out there. But Kobe King, 10 of 15, 5 of 7 for 3. 25 points on the night. Most of that coming in the first half. He really just sealed the deal for him in the first half. Can't go down uh, on the road. 17 points in the first half. They expect to come away with a win. Demetrius Trice had 23. Uh, Ethan Happ only 8 and 10, but, I mean, they didn't really need him today. Kobe King had 25. Just a really solid game from Wisconsin on the offensive side of the ball. We competed in the second half. Lost the second half by 2 points, but the only reason we even competed was because Marcus Howard had 44 on 14 of 30, 8 of 18 from the 3-point line, 8 of 10 from uh, the free throw line. And we also have another... Recruit that accept a scholarship to somewhere else. So not a great week, not a great episode for Marquette. Uh, we go down to rank number 10, which is still good, and we have some pretty cupcake games um, coming up. Should go into conference play at 10-1, and one, we can hope. And then I'll be showing you a couple highlights from the Providence game, and then I'll show you the game against West Virginia in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'm out. Peace.